Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime with Miss Taryn. Today I have a very special guest joining us. This is my son Link. He is three months old. So he's going to be here with us for part of our story time and then he's going to watch from the rocking chair with his daddy. All right. So today our topic is winter and today it's actually snowing outside. So I thought that we would have some fun with the snow and with our clothes that we wear in the snow. And first, of course, we've got to start off singing our hello song. So Link's gonna help me with that. And then we've got a fun little action rhyme that we'll sing that you can play with your babies, okay? All right, so for our first song, we're gonna sing hello to our friends. So we say, hello friends. Hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. All right, good job. And parents, it's always good to do these kinds of activities with your children, even if they're as young as Link is, because it prepares them for reading, they learn literacy, um, and they pick up on these skills as you're singing and using hand motions. All right, so next we're gonna sing a song and bounce around together. So this song is called The Little Blue Sled. So it's kind of like Little Red Wagon, except we put it in the snow. So we'll see if Link's gonna be good for me. All right, so you can bounce the babies, bounce them on your knees just a little bit, or if you've got big kids, they can pretend that they're in a sled. So they might wanna hold their arms out and pull on it like they're pulling a sled. All right, here we go. Bumping up and down in my little blue sled. Bumping up and down in my little blue sled. Bumping up and down in my little blue sled. Won't you be my darling? Snow's coming down on my little blue sled. Snow's coming down on my little blue sled. Snow's coming down on my little blue sled. Won't you be my darling? I'm waving to my friends on my little blue sled. I'm waving to my friends on my little blue sled. I'm waving to my friends on my little blue sled. Sled. Won't you be my darling? Good job! Say good job, Link. You did so good. You didn't cry much. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to read our first book, and I'm going to pass Link off to his daddy so he can watch our story time. Okay, and you will notice that I am all decked out for winter, so we're going to talk more about that in a minute. Okay, first. Let's read this book called When the Snow is Deeper Than My Boots Are Tall. And it's by Jean Reedy, illustrated by Joey Chu. All right, here we go. It's, this is a beautiful book, came out in 2019. Lots of pretty colors and it's rhyming too. Oh, it looks like Pippin's gonna join us too. You guys remember Pippin? Jump up in the morning, winter's here at last. Gobble down my pancakes, getting dressed so fast. Find a frosty window, watch the flakes fall. Look, the snow is deeper than my toes are tall. Slip on my snow pants, tug on my hat, loop-de-loop -loop my scarf. What's cozier than that? Zip up my jacket, yes, my oh my. Now the snow is deeper, the snow is getting deeper, the snow is getting deeper than my ankles are high. Tracks in the white. That's really fun. That's one of my favorite things to do in the snow is run and play. Split, splat, splop, fun. Snowball fight. You guys done a snowball fight in the snow? All right. Oh. Then I roll, roll, roll that ball, 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 and the carrot nosed man grows tall, tall, tall. Flakes on my tongue. Tongue. Yum. Do you ever do that? Go outside in the snow and stick your tongue out? Feels nice and cold and wet. Tastes a little bit like rain. Had a frozen pie. Now the snow is deeper. It's getting so much deeper. The snow is deeper than my shins are high. You know where shins are? That's this part of your leg below your knee. So that's pretty tall. So we don't get snow like that here very much, do we? But my pinkies and my mitten where my thumb should go and my hat flies off when the cold winds blow. 
and my nose drip drips and my wet cheeks freeze and the drifts oh they drift to the top of my knees and my feet get soaked toes one and all because the snow is deeper it's really so much deeper the snow is deeper than my boots are tall Papa to my rescue, kissing on my cheek where my smile tries to hide. Isn't that sweet? Loving arms around me, swooped up in the sky because Papa's taller, my Mama's taller, we're all tall, taller than the snow is high. Then we drop, plop, plop in a frosty feather bed and we laze as we gaze at the blue overhead. And we sweep our angel wings through that bright white rug because the snow is softer than a winter day's hug. Stardust from the heavens, far as I can see because it's oh, much bigger. It's whoa, much bigger. It's so much bigger than you and me. Look at that, it's like the whole world. Heading in the house where the burning logs snap. Off with my wet socks, off with my cap. Stirring up the cocoa in my cozy blue mug. Then I snuggle right in like a little beetle bug. That sounds cozy. Look, there's a cat by the fire. That looks like you, Pippin. An orange cat. There's a puppy over here. Let the flakes out my window just fall, fall, fall. When my heart's so big, I never feel small. Oh, isn't that sweet? I really like that story. It's about a, what fun you can do on a snow day, and it rhymes, and it's just a really fun one to think about. All right, so that was our first book. Before we do our second book, I have another song for us. So I talked about how I am wearing all these winter clothes right now, and I'm pretty hot because I'm inside. But if I were to go outside and play in the snow, I would be pretty warm, okay? So I am wearing a hat on my head. I'm wearing a scarf around my neck, and you might want to put your scarf over your mouth like this. Uh -oh. Pink Link needs to go take a nap. All right, so we've got our scarf, and then I have my parka, got my coat, and then I have my boots on down here at the bottom. All right, so instead of singing the head, shoulders, knees, and toes song, we're going to sing a song called Boots, Parka, Scarf, and Hat. Can you remember that? Boots, Parka, Scarf, and Hat. All right, so you're gonna point to each of those as we do the song, all right? Okay, let's do it. Boots, Parka, Scarf, and Hat, Scarf, and Hat. Boots, parka, scarf, and hat, scarf, and hat, and boots, and parka, scarf, and hat. Boots, parka, scarf, and hat, scarf, and hat. I got mixed up there. I forgot about the parka in the middle. <laughs> All right, so that was a fun little song you can do to that. Now I'm going to take off my parka because I'm pretty warm. And I might take my scarf off too. It's a little bit warm. All right, there we go. Now, we've got one more book, and it's kind of a song. It's, uh, it's like the If You're Happy and You Know It song, okay? We're gonna do this one. It's called If It's Snowy and You Know It. Clap Your Paws by Kim Norman, illustrated by Liza Woodruff. Ooh, some snow creatures there. If it's snowy and you know it, clap your paws. You can tumble on the tundra just because. If it's snowy and you know it, roll a snowball up and throw it. If it's snowy and you know it, clap your paws. You guys can clap along. If your fur is full of flurries, might taste a flake. Skate around or make some angels on a lake. If your fur is full of flurries, you'll forget your winter worries. If your fur is full of flurries, taste a flake. <laughs> if the skies are crisp and clear and grab your skis, give your tiny friends a ride behind your knees. If the skies are crisp and clearing, let a walrus do the steering. If the skies are crisp and clearing, grab your skis. We grab our skis like this, like we're going down a mountain. 
If it's shimmery and sunny, sculpt a friend. If he topples, it's an easy job to mend. If it's shimmery and sunny, borrow glasses from the bunny. If it's shimmery and sunny, sculpt a friend. So how would we do that one? You might sculpt it with your hands, like you're rolling a ball up. If it's frosty and you're freezing, build a fort. Leaving room for all your buddies, tall or short. If it's frosty and you're freezing, add some curtains that are pleasing. If it's frosty and you're freezing, build a fort. Ooh, so we might stack up our, sto our snow cubes, build a fort in the snow. If it's drafty and you're drifting, give a roar. Get some help from white belugas off the shore. If it's drafty and you're drifting, hell a whale for heavy lifting. If it's drafty and you're drifting, give a roar. Roar! So we've got all these winter animals. They can call out to a beluga, which is a whale. Okay, beluga? So that is a white whale there. And we've got all these other little animals that are building our house. If at last you're finally landing, blow a kiss. Make a promise that you'll write to friends you'll miss. If at last you're finally landing, leave a float that you've been commanding. If at last you're finally landing, blow a kiss. <laughs> Almost there. If it's starry and you're starving, share a meal. There's enough for all from caribou to seal. If it's starry and you're starving, let a sparkly iceberg carving. If it's starry and you're starving, share a meal. So they could eat all that. I don't know how we would show that. Like pretend that we're scooping up a fork, put it in our mouth. Oh, just a couple more pages. If it's arctic and you're aching, soak your toes. Hold a steamy cup of cocoa to your nose. If it's arctic and you're aching, give your paws a gentle baking. If it's arctic and you're aching, get, soak your toes. So I can hold up my feet, stick them in the water. <laughs> if it's wintry and you're weary, go inside. Paint a picture of the icy sports you tried. If it's wintry and you're weary, read a book that's warm and cheery. If it's wintry and you're weary, go inside. That is what I would give you, give advice to you if it's cold. You may have lots of fun outside in the snow, but it may also be really, really cold. So you don't want to get sick. You can have some warm hot cocoa and cider. Might make you feel better. If it's leading and you're sleepy, climb in bed. Tuck your tails and paws and fins beneath the spread. If it's sleeting and you're sleepy, you snuggle up with something sleepy. There's a world of wild adventures. What are they gonna say? In your head. Look, so that book took us from the beginning of a snow day to the end. So they ended up in bed, sleeping and dreaming about adventures together on the water, in the grass, in different seasons. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so that one was called, If It's Snowy and You Know It, Clap Your Paws. Okay, guys, so those are the two that we've read today. I had two other books. We're not gonna read them today, but I wanted to show them to you. This one's called First Snow, and it is a good book for preschool age kids. Um, it's got simple words, it's rhyming, and it's about the first time that it snows in the season. So by the time you're watching this, it's probably already snowed maybe once or twice this season. So first snow. All right, and another one, this one you read, it's really good to read whenever it's late in the winter. So when it's almost time for spring and it's called When Spring Comes. So the first part of the book is about what it's like in the winter and then what happens to that same part of the of the grass or the the animals what all, all of the animals and the nature does when it's springtime and this is by Kevin Hankos this is a really good book all right all of these are available at our library or they may be available online you just check it out through our card catalog um, at dcplibrary.org all right so that is it for today if you have any questions or if you want to share some snow day activities that you like to do with your family, you can drop those in the comments below. Um, otherwise, we'll sing our goodbye song and I'll see you next time. All right, here we go. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you.